Hey friends, tonight I am hanging out at the Contemporary Resort. There are a lot of Christmas things happening here and I'm so excited. They have their Christmas tree up. It is one of my favorite resort Christmas trees. Also, I want to check out the Gingerbread Castle and then actually go up to the California Grill and watch Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks show. I actually had to read that off my phone because it's a real big tongue twister. So, let's go do this. Look at that big beautiful resort and the Christmas tree all lit up. All except for that big blink spot in the middle of the tree. It looks like there's some lights out or maybe it hasn't officially been, you know, finished. Maybe I'm just early. But regardless, it is a beautiful tree and I love the gigantic bulbs. Just to give you guys a comparison, that's my head. That's a Christmas bulb. It's amazing. I love them all. I love the yellow ones, the red ones, the blue ones, the green ones, even the white ones. Beautiful. And you guys know how Christmas lights go. Just one little bulb can cause a big ruckus. So that's probably what's happening right there. Regardless, like I said, it's still a very beautiful tree. And I like it a lot. It's still one of my favorite resort trees. But now we're going to head on into the Contemporary, go up to the Gingerbread Castle, and make our way up to the California Grill. Look at all the pretty garland they actually have out front, too. Very Christmassy. We also have some very classy wreaths inside the check in lobby area. Look at all that. Very classy. And some classy trees as well. Huh. I like these ornaments, though. They look like special grapes. But here we are up on the main level i don't know if you call this the main level but this is like the most busiest level plus the gingerbread castle is on this level and look at that little window art we bring mary oh mini and the goof has even got a little window art and here is the gingerbread castle i know that i did a live stream of this on the opening day but i wanted to come back and revisit it because it's so awesome that is actual gingerbread. All of it. All of it. Wow. And all of that down there, that's sugar. That's pretty awesome and amazing, don't you think? And I also love how they have all the nods to It's a Small World on here. Look at that. Huh. All these nifty treats they got for sale out here. I had a gingerbread boy the other day and it was really delicious. But I really want to try that tree-shaped sugar cookie. I don't know if I can handle it now. Or this. What is this? That looks good, doesn't it? Wow. They also have some pins, ornaments, hot cocoa mugs. The 10th anniversary. Yes, the 10th anniversary of the gingerbread castle. And a couple of other snaps. Rice Krispie treat, stocking. Oh boy, ah, ah. Panic, panic, thank you. Here is a good look of all that goes into building this beautiful gingerbread castle. 257 pounds of sugar snow, 119 eggs, 57 pounds of icing. That is huge. They also have Cinderella slipper. Look at that. I fancy the pillow just as much as the slipper. It's a very nice pillow. But also, they have photo opportunities here. There's no photo pass photographer out, but they just let the sign just hang out here. Look at that. 10th anniversary of the Contemporary Resorts Gingerbread. Ooh, I like it. I just kind of thought of something here. I believe that the Contemporary Resort has the most amount of Christmas trees inside of it. If you go down to the conference area, there's like literally one by every single conference room. Plus there's like literally five or six right on this floor itself. You can see another one right there by the DVC booth. It's pretty awesome. Walking past a little book sale they have here and look at this book. Vader's Little Princess. How cute. I decided to step out and take a look at the Magic Kingdom before we make our ascension up to the California Grill. And wow, it's beautiful. The super bad news is, is when I stepped outside, it started raining. So 
you're not protected up there, it's gonna be a rainy night for the fireworks. I hope things come out good. If they don't, oh well. I'm gonna stand there in the rain and just get wet and enjoy the fireworks. Oh, I caught Mickey winking at me. Hiya, pal. Now I'm gonna head down a floor and head on down to the conference area and the check-in area for the California Girls so we can get a good spot for the fireworks. But this is what I was talking about with the Christmas trees. Look, Christmas tree, Christmas tree, Christmas tree. A lot of Christmas trees. So now we are up at the California Grill. I'm gonna go outside in a second and actually get our spot. But no hats allowed, so that's why, you know, can't wear the hats in here. And look at the view we got. I love coming up here. I love the music too. But wow, look at that magic kingdom. Look at that castle, glorious. I'm praying that the rain stays away because it's starting to come down a little bit hard. And I came out here a little bit early because I wanted to actually stake out a good spot. Sorry, I'm not wearing my hat, but you can't wear hats in the Contemporary Resort. Not the Contemporary Resort, that California Grill. You cannot wear hats inside the California Grill. So, actually, look at that in the background. Wow, I like it when cool things pop up in the background. Another cool thing I want to point out is you see these speakers right here. They actually play the music that's going along with the fireworks show. So if you're up here for Happily Ever After, you're hearing Happily Ever After. If you're up here for uh, any of the special events, you're hearing the music. So I'm excited. Hopefully we'll pick it up. Right here is actually where the speaker is and right there is going to be where we're standing. Another thing I love about up here is watching the monorails leave and come as they go. Look at that. Double monorail. Sure? Yeah. Okay. You're good, yeah. I never, I, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, don't worry.
was fantastic. They actually started a little late and the music had to catch up, but still amazing. I actually like the Christmas fireworks better than the Halloween fireworks. Now, not the old ones. Now, we're talking about current, 2019. Still amazing. And look at that. The water pageant's going on behind me. How nifty. I really had a good time watching the fireworks from up there. The struggles of being a vlogger though, the rain kinda maybe screwed up with the audio in the video. I did bring two cameras, so I recorded one on a GoPro over the ledge and then one from the G7X. I don't know how they'll both turn out because there's water dropping into the mic, into the lens. Hopefully good, fingers crossed. I don't know until you see it. Christmas tree, Christmas tree telling you the contemporary they got a lot of trees and I think that's gonna do it for me hope you guys had a lot of fun I had a lot of fun it was really fun and I uh, love the life you live we'll see you next time bye and one last look at that tree thank you